when a state declares a federal disaster, agencies like FEMA provide the necessary funds for recovery. However, Senator Peter Welch says that the process isn't always this simple. I think FEMA actually is broken. After heavy rains on Tuesday evening, the Northeast Kingdom has been particularly hard hit. Many have lost their homes to the floods. And Senator Peter Welch says FEMA typically responds in the immediate aftermath. But down the long term, if you're a family whose home is lost and you've got to get a decision on a buyout, uh, or you're on the local select board and you're trying to fix a bridge, FEMA is too centralized in Washington. FEMA insists they have a strong local presence. We currently have um, joint field offices like mine here in Vermont spread throughout uh, the country and all the states that have been impacted. So, so we actually are physically present in, in the states that have been impacted. However, Senator Welch believes more funds are required. And we're not going to be able to get the full aid that people need. The FEMA is not going to, even when it works, it doesn't fully compensate people for the damage uh, that has been done to their homes. Despite these concerns, Roy claims FEMA's presence before, during and after disasters is strong. He says there are structures in Vermont that prove that. We have here in Vermont where there were bridges and roads that we repaired and earlier disasters that during the recent floods, nothing happened. A new study indicates that Vermont is seventh on the list of states with the most disaster declarations, and it's not including those from 2024. Without addressing these climate changes, it says these patterns will only become more frequent and severe. Reporting from Washington, D.C., I'm Dipanjali Sharma for Fox 44.